Hi YouTube, it's Jay Chasen here, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the new file selector and save dialog box on iOS 11 beta 2. So let's get started. First I'm going to open up Microsoft Word and I'm going to select a blank document. Then I'll type something. Now I'm going to save it and I'll show you the difference. So there we go, we'll put in a document name such as iOS 11. Then when I click more, this is a new screen that pops up. And what I mean by that is that the window used to dump all of your folders that were saved in iCloud Drive into this one list. And oftentimes it crashed before it loaded. And if it did load, it was very difficult to locate the actual folder that you wanted to save the file into, especially if you had nested folders that were several deep. This has been fixed in iOS 11. It just simply shows you the different sources you have. I have iCloud Drive and on my iPad, but eventually that'll show you Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, Box, and all the other file providers that you have. Once you tap one, for instance, I'll tap iCloud Drive, then I get to tap another subfolder. So it doesn't just dump every folder on the entire device. So for instance, right now I will tap Documents. And then I can tap wherever I want to save in there. Now this isn't really intuitive, at least to me, that now you don't just tap Documents to save inside the Documents folder. Instead, you actually have to tap Move in the upper right hand corner, which will move it to the Documents folder as it has now done here. I would have preferred a way when you tapped on Documents for it to move it automatically without you having to actually tap the Move. All right, well, thank you for watching this video of me demonstrating the new file Save As dialog box in iOS 11. I'm Jake Jason, and I'm signing off.